Hi everyone, welcome to Learn English in 5 Minutes. In today's session, we'll be discussing about prepositions of time in, on, at. Yes, uh, well, it might sound simple, but then there's a there's little confusion between when to use in, when to use on, and when to use at. And I really hope that by the end of this video, this confusion will just go away. So let's start with at. So at is used when you're talking about a specific time. Let's say when you're talking about at 3 p.m., at 2 a.m. Or when you're talking about, let's say, noon or midnight or morning. So when you are referring to these things. So at is usually used when you also when you were talking about holidays, but you're not mentioning the uh, you're not mentioning the day, let's say New Year, so let's say um, Diwali, or let's say Easter. So that's when you use at. Now, when do we use on? On is used when you're talking about one day or let's say when you're talking about one day. So when I say that I, I see, I'll see you on Monday or I'll see you on Thursday or I'll see you on, uh, let's say, um, 20th November. So when you're talking about one day or when you're talking about a specific date or also when you say on holidays with um, with particular day. So let's say Christmas or any, any XYZ holiday, right? So it's talked about on holidays with day. It's talked about when you're only talking about a specific day or date. Moving on to the third and the last preposition, which is in and in is widely used. So you will see that at is used specifically on has a little more horizon where it uses. And then we have in, which is used like with context of, let's say, um, I don't know, maybe months, seasons, decades, centuries. So when you have, when you're talking about all these things, then you use in. So I hope the basic difference between at, on and in is clear. Now we'll be doing certain examples and towards the end there'll be a small exercise and I would really, really, really hope that you'll do that exercise and you'll write the answers in the comments and we all can see and correct in case we are wrong. So yeah, let's take a look at all the examples now. At, I will see you at five o'clock i'll see you at five o'clock a specific time he will pick me at 6 p.m again a specific time this restaurant closes at midnight again like i said noon or midnight let's take a look at preposition on where will you be on christmas day i was born on june 10 you can also mention your year what are you planning to wear on Independence Day? Let's take a look at preposition in. She'll be back in four weeks. I'm hoping there'll be a lot of progress in the century, in the next century. In Canada, it often snows in November. Let's take a look at the practice exercise. They often practice dash night. I learned to drive a car dash three weeks. I have a meeting dash Thursday. So you need to fill it in. Gary usually eats lunch dash 1 p.m. I'm going to Paris dash June. The bank is closed dash. So do fill in the answers of these practice exercise in the comment section and let's see how many of you got actually correct and then we can help each other out. Also, there are places wherein you might feel that the use of these three prepositions is good enough and you should use it but you should not and what are those cases whenever we say or whenever we say a sentence that has last next every or this then we do not use at in or on because it makes no sense so let's say i say that i went to india last april so i will not say i went to india in last April. I would say last April, that's it. I do not need to uh, use the word, use the preposition in here. Next one I say, he is coming back next Friday. Then you'll not say, he is coming back on next Friday. No, next means it's sufficient. I visit home or I go home every Diwali. 
or every New Year's or every Navratri, then I don't say I go home at every Diwali, New Year's or Navratri. And last but not the least, I say that I'll call you this evening or I'll call you this or we'll call you this evening. Then we do not say that I'll call you in this evening. So yes, no matter how uh, fascinating or good it sounds to make use of add this or on during these cases, but please, please avoid because it's a mistake. I hope this video was helpful and I hope certain doubts were clear. So please keep watching the videos and do like, share and subscribe and happy learning. Bye-bye.